Uh, have it whenever you're ready. Uh, hey, Dream Team, I'm, uh, I'm here with the amazing Jessie from Student Employment and uh, she's going to tell us a little bit about, uh, about what it's all about. Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Jessie, I am the coordinator of Student Employment. Uh, so I'm here to help you to find a casual and part-time job that you can do to get some extra money while you're studying. Okay, marvellous. So, um, in terms of in terms of like, do you offer any extra help with training or? Yeah, so I can help in a number of ways. Um, I guess the main thing um, that I would do uh, to help students would be to offer one-on-one -on -one assistance. So uh, if uh, someone has a resume uh, that they're not sure is up to scratch, I can uh, do a review of the resume. Or if you've never written a resume before, I can show you how to write one and I can provide templates. Um, if you would like to write a job application, whether it's a formal cover letter or something less formal, then I can review your cover letter, your job application, or help you, again, how to write it. Um, I can provide guides and that sort of thing. Um, I also uh, organise short courses. So the short courses that we organise um, are there to, I guess, make you more employable um, in those casual and part-time uh, job industries. So things like first aid, uh, responsible service of alcohol, which you need if you want to work in hospitality, uh, a barista course. We're actually running, running one on Friday. If anyone's interested, you can sign up on the website. And we actually subsidise those courses. We go to a registered training organisation um, who actually deliver the training, uh, but the AU picks up the tab the student only plays a, a small portion of that, and if you're an AU member, you get an even further discount on top of that. So, that is fantastic. Yeah, that is great. Um, is there any other any other support that you can that you can offer? Which is, I mean, this is already a huge <laughs> amount. Yeah, yeah. Look, well, look, I'm I'm available uh, to be called on. So I have uh, students come. Uh, they drop in, or they make an appointment, or they call me, or they email me. I've had some students. Um, come to me uh, for assistance with their job applications where I've you know some of them I've had I've sort of helped them write five six seven job applications for the one student so there's no limit to how many times you use the service um, I also occasionally run workshops and information sessions um, and they're uh, really helpful because uh, we'll usually uh, either live stream them stream them or uh, put them up later um, if you sign up to my newsletter which you can do online I will usually send out copies of of um, uh, digital copies of um, any presentations that I give. So they're um, excellent if you're offshore at the moment or if you're working from home, studying from home, then you can access that from the comfort of your lounge room or your bedroom. Um, yeah, uh, in terms of um, workshops, um, I developed a few uh, a new workshop over the summer. So I uh, presented a summer workshop which was quite a comprehensive look at um, from the beginning, how you get yourself job ready, how you actually apply for a job, um, interview process and what to do if you get a job. Um, but throughout this year, I think what I'm going to do is develop some other workshops, split them up into smaller topics and make them a bit more accessible for people who are offshore um, or working from home. Fantastic. Hey, so just to pick your brain, oh, yeah. what are some of the like, what do you think are some of the like the biggest mistakes that we make when we're sort of putting together our resume? Mm. Okay, well, you know what? There's no one right way to do a resume, but there are a lot of, um, I don't want to say wrong things, but there are some things that look a bit odd on a resume. Um, and really. So is it like, it's like a spaghetti bolognese, like everyone's bolognese is a little bit different, but, and it's, it's nothing that you can get 100% right, but you can definitely get it wrong. Yeah, I think that's a probably a pretty good analogy there. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, you know, I love Vegemite, but I wouldn't put it in my spaghetti bolognese. Some people do. Um, but um, one thing I would say is, um, you know, if you have not had much experience uh, working in Australia or just not much experience working in general, um, it's always good to have someone look at your resume. Um, even if you come from an English speaking country um, or you've come from a completely different industry, the way that your resume looks is going to probably be different to what you've come from. So things like, you know, don't put your photo on your resume. 
that's a pretty big no-no. Um, even if you look fantastic, um, which you know I'm sure most of you do, um, it's not a good idea. It looks odd and it looks out of, um, out of sorts with the other resumes that come in. And unfortunately, um, being trying to be too creative with your resume is often um, a bit of a problem. You really want to con conform a little bit, I think, when it comes, keep it simple, keep it to the point. So no like patterned paper? Yeah, avoid the patterned paper. I generally say to people, avoid those fancy templates you find online that look really great, all the swirls and the boxes, and just keep it black and white and to the point and you're gonna get your point across um, a lot easier. And great, and these are 100% all things that, uh, that Jesse can, can help you out with. Absolutely. Marvellous, and, uh, and so whereabouts, like if we, if we wanna find you, if we're sitting there going, my gracious, I really, like my resume, I don't even have one, it's got one thing on it, I need some help, where can we find you? Yeah, absolutely, so um, if you wanna make an appointment, um, probably the easiest thing is to go to the AUU website, so auu.org.au and find student employment, you will see my picture there, um, and uh, my contact details are there, you can either call us or send me an email and I can book you into an appointment if you want to come and see me in person. Um, I do recommend making an appointment first, but if you want to drop in to make an appointment and sometimes I might have the time to see you, I'm located in the Hughes building. So level eight of the Hughes building, co-located with uh, student care, so easy to find. And do you have to be a member of the union to access your services? That's an excellent question. No, you do not. So my, my services are available for all, all students, absolutely free, and there's no limit to how many times you can access this, the service as well. Um, so as I said, I've had some students contact me. I've got some, um, yeah, pretty um, frequent flyers, I'd say, <laughs> who come and honestly, I'm always happy, you know, I make friends with them and then I see them around campus and it's really nice to see them around. So just talk to me basically. If you've got any questions, big or small, you think it's a silly question, it doesn't really matter. I'm happy to answer it. I just want to be approachable and offer whatever assistance I can, however I can. Jesse, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for, for talking to us. Thanks for talking to me. All right, team, bye. I was just messing with you then.